Hi, I'm Mark Peel, and welcome to my restaurant, Campanile, in Los Angeles. In the wonderful new movie, Julie and Julia, you get to peek inside the life of America's favorite chef, Julia Child, played by Meryl Streep. Bonjour! And a modern-day fan, Julie, played by Amy Adams. I read somewhere that it was bad form to say yum while you're eating, but yum. I had the good fortune to meet the legend herself quite a few times. She dined here often, where she enjoyed a glass of wine, or two. <laughs> I have to tell you, Julia Child had a great sense of taste, a great sense of style, a warm and expansive personality and a love of life. And she knew that in life, as in the kitchen, if you want to make an omelet, you've got to break some eggs. I'm going to try to flip this thing over now, which is a rather daring thing to do. She was willing to take risks, and she never worried about making mistakes. When you flip anything, you've just got to have the courage of your convictions, especially if it's a loose sort of mass, like, oh, that didn't go very well. But you can always put it together, and you're alone in the kitchen. Who's to see? As you can see, one of Julia's favorite ingredients to cook with was eggs, and it's one of mine, too. Now, I'm going to make you a very simple scrambled eggs. I call it scrambled eggs for Daphne. That's my wife. It's delicious wonderful and when you do it right it's absolute perfection and I guarantee you won't be making any mistakes. Now this recipe has very strict measurements tablespoons, teaspoons and so on but we don't really need them right? We're gonna start with a nice chunk of butter. If you know anything about Julia you know how she loved butter and one of her mentors one of her heroes was a man named Ferdinand Point, who was a great chef at a restaurant called La Pyramide. His great quote about the secret to French cooking is butter, butter, and a little more butter. We want the heat to be medium low. So as soon as this comes to temperature, we want the butter to turn a little noisette, which means almost like a little hazelnut in color and in, and in aroma. This is when we put the eggs in. We go straight into the pan, just like that. If they break, don't worry, we're scrambling. Like that, look at that, you see? We can make a mess, it's okay. A Little bit of salt, calls for half a teaspoon. That's precisely half a teaspoon, I think. A little half and half. I think it calls for one and a half tablespoons. We're gonna eyeball it, just like that. And this is when we start scrambling. The idea is, we don't want perfect color dispersion because we want it to look like they're a contrast, or a contrast of, of color, contrast of texture. See how it's setting up? Now, quickly, 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 pecorino, which is delicious aged sheep's milk cheese. Grate it right into it. Boom, boom, boom. Ta -ta. There we go. You may not believe me, but that is almost done. At this point, we're going to put in, oh, a little bit more butter and a little bit more cream, half and half. Now, by putting the cream and the butter in right at the end, it drops the temperature, prevents it from overcooking, and makes it silky, silky smooth. This looks a little soft, but it's delicious, and this is the way I like it. Just like this. In a beautiful little fluffy pile. A toasted baguette, ooh, hot, like that. A tiny sprig of basil. You want to use the tiniest little sprigs. And this is how I love to make eggs, scrambled eggs for Daphne. Wasn't that easy? Look, everyone makes mistakes. I certainly do from time to time. The most important thing is never let it stop you. Remember what Julia said. Never apologize, no excuses, no explanations. <laughs> and don't forget, see Julie and Julia, opening August 7th in theaters everywhere. Mm. Bon appetit. <laughs>